The Making of the President 1964 by Theodore H. White is a compelling, meticulously researched narrative that provides a detailed account of the 1964 United States presidential election between Lyndon B. Johnson and Barry Goldwater. Published in 1965, this book remains a seminal work in the genre of political journalism and analysis. White's writing style, depth of insight, and access to key figures make this book a vital resource for understanding the political landscape of the time and the intricacies of a pivotal election. White's narrative approach is a standout feature of the book. Rather than presenting a dry recitation of facts and figures, he tells the story of the election as if it were a novel. White's prose is engaging, and he deftly weaves together various elements of the political campaign, including the candidates' personalities, campaign strategies, and the shifting dynamics of American society at the time. This storytelling approach allows readers to connect with the individuals involved and understand the broader context of the election. One of the strengths of The Making of the President 1964 is White's intimate knowledge of the political landscape. As a seasoned journalist, he had extensive access to key players on both sides of the campaign. He conducted numerous interviews with politicians, campaign staff, and even the candidates themselves, which provided him with a wealth of insider information. This access is evident in the book, as White offers readers a unique glimpse into the minds and motivations of the people driving the campaign. This depth of insight sets the book apart from more superficial accounts of the election. White also excels at capturing the essence of the two main candidates, Lyndon B. Johnson and Barry Goldwater. He portrays Johnson as a shrewd, pragmatic, and masterful politician who knew how to navigate the complexities of Washington, D.C. In contrast, Goldwater is depicted as a principled but somewhat rigid conservative who was unprepared for the demands of a national campaign. White's characterizations provide a nuanced understanding of the candidate's strengths and weaknesses, which is essential for comprehending the election's outcome. The book delves into the campaign strategies and tactics employed by both candidates. White describes Johnson's meticulous planning and execution, which included leveraging his incumbency, using his knowledge of legislative processes, and skillfully managing the media. On the other hand, Goldwater's campaign is shown as somewhat disjointed and reliant on grassroots support. White's analysis of these strategies highlights the importance of effective campaign management in determining election outcomes. In addition to the candidates, White pays close attention to the evolving socio-political climate of the United States in the 1960s. The book explores the civil rights movement, the Vietnam War, and the role of the media in shaping public opinion. White's examination of these factors underscores their influence on the election and the candidates' positions. It is evident that he views the 1964 election as a pivotal moment in American history, where the country faced profound social and political changes. One of the book's few weaknesses is its length and level of detail. While White's thoroughness is commendable, at times, the narrative can become bogged down in minutiae, which may be overwhelming for some readers. Nevertheless, this meticulous approach also contributes to the book's comprehensiveness, making it a valuable resource for researchers and those seeking an in-depth understanding of the election. The Making of the President 1964 also highlights the crucial role of the media in shaping public perception. White discusses the advent of television as a dominant medium in politics and its impact on campaign strategies. He presents a detailed account of how the candidates and their teams manipulated the media to their advantage. This analysis remains relevant today, as media continues to play a significant role in shaping public opinion and electoral outcomes. In conclusion, Theodore H. White's The Making of the President 1964 
is a compelling and insightful account of a landmark election in American history. His narrative approach, deep insider knowledge, and vivid characterizations of the candidates make the book an essential read for those interested in political history and campaign analysis. While it may be overly detailed for some readers, it stands as a valuable resource for understanding the intersection of politics, media, and social change during the mid-20th century. White's book remains a classic in the field of political journalism and an enduring work that sheds light on the complexities of American democracy.